Police are not taking it lightly after a vague threat of a school shooting went viral on TikTok. And schools across the region and across the country beefed up security today, some even canceling classes. Grant Herm's following this story, and Grant, the specific threat even got a response from Homeland Security. And that should give you a sense of just how seriously law enforcement is taking this social media challenge. And tonight, Michigan State Police are urging parents to have stern conversations with their kids. And they have a warning for kids who take part in this challenge, saying even if a threat is fake on here, it can and will have real consequences in the real world. A nationwide threat making its way to Metro Detroit. The TikTok challenge named American School Shooting Day for kids to make false threats of a school shooting to close schools across the state just weeks after the deadliest mass shooting in a school of the year. Law enforcement at all levels taking notice all the way up to the Department of Homeland Security, which issued a notice about the vague threats, even though none were credible, saying, quote, DHS does not have any information indicating any specific credible threats to schools but recommends communities remain alert. Anytime that we have any type of these threats, uh, we investigate them as they're credible until we can prove that they're not. And if we're able to locate the person that did it, uh, we're going to seek, uh, seek the harshest punishment. Michigan State Police asking parents to talk to their kids about just how serious making these threats really is. If we find that, you know, that it was a threat that was made, even if it was incredible or they couldn't have carried it out, um, it's not a joke. And we're going to bring it to the appropriate prosecutor to make sure that charges are brought up. And, you know, once you have a charge like that, a 20 year felony of you know, reporting a false threat of terrorism, that's that's a tough thing to get over. It's a life changing event. And police and prosecutors are making good on that promise you just heard there. In Wayne County alone, nearly two dozen kids have already been charged for making false threats, and there are already 10 investigations ongoing into other false threats happening right now. Back to you. You know, Grant, we could see kids who might see something online that scares them, but then they're afraid to say something because they're world worried about it being called a false threat. Sure, MSP says there's a big difference when it comes to reporting something to law enforcement or school officials that you think is scary or upsetting and making a false threat. They say they want to hear from kids who see something that concerns them, and they can do that through the OK to say hotline. They can text their tips in. They can yeah. call those in. Yeah. We've got links on how to do that on clickoutdetroit.com. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Grant.